Did you make a deal with the devil? Are you part of the works of the devil? Well, we know the devil is the father of the lie. So it would reflect that he would also be the father of fiction. We know that lawyers promote legal fiction and they are also called devil's advocates. They do not advocate, advocate the will of God. They advocate the will of the devil. So they would advocate lies. So when you look up a uh, deal with the devil, you can pick this up on Wikipedia and it says the deal with the devil or a Faustinian bargain. Remember, that's a bar gain, a bar gain with the devil because gain is an addition and profit. And we know what surnames are. There are names added to one's real name. So a deal with the devil or a Faustinian bar gain, the lawyers are called to the bar gain. We'll call it the barcode to make bar gain. Also known as a Faustinian deal or Faustinian pact is a metaphor in English for a deal in which an ambitious person surrenders moral integrity in order to achieve power and success. The term originates from the legend of Faust, a character in German folklore and literature who makes a deal with the devil for knowledge and worldly pleasures, but pays the ultimate price of his soul. Sounds like just another way of talking about the Genesis account where Adam committed treason against his creator and basically joined in with his first mate on the earth ship and literally ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, making a deal with the devil, the one in opposition to God. So it's uh, interesting how we may not see these things, but when we look to scripture, it will always bring us in to a correct thought. Despite how people have thrown the Bible under the bus, the Bible is literally exposing the truth and revealing how we are in a terrible dilemma of lies and fiction. Mark 8, 34 to 38 states, and when he called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole, the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with his holy angels. Well, if you're covering up the naked truth of your God-given Christian name by playing in the world of legal, you've made a very bad election. And he that basically acts as a surety for another, which is a stranger, also another is in addition, will surely smart for it.